Hi, today we're going to be looking at two uh, what I found to be very good flashlights, consumer grade, low cost, but what I feel is some of the best features for the dollar, longevity, quality, uh, and not costing forty, fifty, or a hundred dollars for an LED flashlight, which you can spend on on some of these high end ones. This isn't high end, but I think it's got some really good features. And when you see the price uh, on one of them, I think you'll be very surprised. I was surprised too, because I was going to do the video anyway at the regular price of it, still a good value, but now we're coming in at uh, like 40% off of that. So it really uh, um, is an excellent value. You're going to see that the price of the big one is less than the small one. So what we have is Energizer makes these two flashlights among many others these are the two that I like and I'll give you the reasons why let's look at the model numbers first we have on the tail end here uh, a PMZ H21 that's your 2AA 400 lumen model and then you have a, a PMZ H61 that has uh, six double A's let's take the tail end off and I'll show you uh, one of the reasons why I like these flashlights is there's no spring, um, there's no carriage to hold the batteries that typically you'd find, uh, especially in the triple A's. Um, those can crack, bad connections, they're a, a big uh, shortcoming with these. You've got your O-ring, uh, the spring's internal on the positive. This one has three double A's going down each side for a total of six. This is your 1300 uh, lumen version and that's the business end of it there you have one um, diffused one of the LEDs is diffused and two are spot and they they all work um, together or with the digital zoom we'll take a look at that we'll show you how you can um, access two of them one of them or all three uh, has has a nice capability of control Pretty much the same thing here just scaled down Same on the uh, the tail and no spring in there. It's just not needed makes contact and there's you've got your two Doubles in there Okay, let's bring up the specs take a look at that from the website energizer now they're giving it they're giving you the specs with their um, Energizer Max they call it. I think it's just a uh, their best alkaline battery. I run rechargeables um, but you can run um, these these will run rechargeables just fine. Some flashlights don't like the lower voltage from a nickel metal hydrate. Some won't even work properly. Um, these these have no problem with that. Um, they should because Energizer makes nickel metal hydrate, so they should work with their batteries. Um, but be warned, some of these LED flashlights won't tolerate a nickel metal hydrate. Uh, the lower voltage won't dim properly and other things. But at any rate, here we've got the two, two AA version, light output 400 lumens. You get four hours of runtime, which is pretty respectable. For, uh, for the two doubles. I don't mess with flashlights that have triple A's. They're pretty much a waste of time. Um, they don't give you a lot of run time. And unless you really need something that small, but um, you will get three times the watt hours out of a double A as you will out of a triple A. Uh, so for that little extra size that you will have, uh, you get three times, three times the run time. Um, here are just some specs. You can always pause that and read about it. And let's also compare it to the double, uh, excuse me, the 6A version, 6AA. Okay, so on this one you've got 1300 lumens. That's pretty bright. You know, 1300 lumens is equivalent to about a, more than a 75 watt light bulb. Not a great comparison because this is more of a spot concentrated in one in one area but uh, 1300 lumens is very bright um, and then on low you have uh, 220 lumens 19 hour runtime very good 
Um, and of course you have dimming down from that. So I think they're just talking about the standard low. But from there you can dim it down. They really don't tell you what the lumens are, but um, there'd probably be too many, <laughs> too many um, options for that. But uh, you, you can dim it every which way. So you can expect probably much longer run times than that even. Um, all right, let's take a look at the performance here. What I'm going to do is we're going to point this right at the lens, and I think this ought to work out so you can see actually what's happening. It's going to overload slightly here, but uh, okay, let the camera adjust. Yeah, okay, I think this might work. I'm not going to point directly at because I don't think that's going to work out. Okay, that's pretty good. The camera's adjusting. So what I'm going to do is we're on high there. Um, and what's nice about this, these two flashlights, and they, they have other models, they call it the digital uh, Max Viz, they call it. Uh, what's nice about this is you don't always have to go through the three modes, high, low, and, and blinking or flashing. Uh, when you turn it on, you've got your high, but if you wait a little while, like more than five seconds, it'll just go back to off again. If you're quick about it, you got high, low, flashing, and off. But say we want low, we'll hit it twice, we're in the low mode, more than five seconds goes by, it will not go to flashing, which is nice, it'll just go to off. Um, so you can cycle through all the modes, the three modes, if you do it relatively fast, but you don't always have to cycle through the three modes. So here's high, wait a few seconds, it'll just go to off. That's a very nice feature, something you usually don't find on a lot of the, the lower end uh, flashlights. Okay, so the digital zoom, uh, not zoom rather, but dimming I should say, I think you might be able to see how that works here. If you notice, one of the LEDs goes through a diffuser and two of them do not, it's a spot. So you've got kind of the best of both worlds where when we digitally uh, select and dim. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let's uh, do this on the high first. Okay, there's your high. Let the camera adjust. Okay, you kind of get an idea of what's going on. Now I'm going to hold the button in. About five seconds, what will happen, it'll flash. Okay, there's your flash. Now see what's happening there? It'll go between two and one. So you can select whether I want the diffused pattern, whether I want the spot pattern, and, and it's also dimming. Uh, which is nice too because you can operate it on one LED, two LEDs um, and everything in between with, with the dimming. Almost looks to me like the color temperature is different and I'm not sure if the LEDs are different um, but if you notice even on the camera that's a little more bluer and that seems to be a little bit more yellow. It's very very subtle but um, could be my imagination don't really know <laughs> I don't think the diffuser is doing anything like that now we could do the same thing on the low setting so we're gonna hit it high quickly hit it again we're in low this is the low setting we're gonna point this at the wall it'll give you an idea too what the what the pattern looks like so we're now we're in low we're gonna hold the button in five seconds or so there you go it flashes and we're getting the same effect in the low mode. Go down to one LED, two LEDs, and everything in between. Very nice feature to have. Um, I haven't seen a feature like this on a, on a l lower cost LED consumer type lower end. So very nice feature to have. And then if you go through quickly, the third one is your flasher. So kind of annoying on the camera. Sorry about that. Same identical operation on this one. I'm not going to show you that because it's not necessary on the camera. We'll show you on the wall what it looks like. Okay, let's take a look at that. I got a shot of the wall here. Let's start out with the 1300 lumen. Go ahead and shut. Room lights. Okay, so that's high mode, all three LEDs. We're going to go ahead, let's go through and give you high, low, you got your flasher. Okay, we're back to high. We're going to go ahead and hold the button in. 
it begins a digital uh, dimming okay now if you notice the beam pattern that's your spot the two and that's your diffuser there see how it's spread out more then we go back to the spot and then it dims those out and puts the single one on the diffuser so you've got the best of both worlds and you can dim in between we can do the same thing as mentioned in low that's what the, what it looks like diffused spot and just for comparison this is the 400 lumen high low got your flasher let's let's look at the low mode we'll dim that down so you've only got a max of 400 lumens but by the time you dim that down I don't know what it ends up being it doesn't really they don't tell you but probably 50 lumen or something like that or less so you got a lot, a lot of nice control okay so that's pretty much it on these uh, oh we got to look at price which is really what this is a big factor in this you know construction is great operation is great on these and um, you know, quality and all that good stuff uh, the two double a version pretty much the regular price that you see them around for you might be able to get them cheaper about 20 bucks uh, you might be able to find them for in the teens or high teens that's your two double a it's it's a decent flashlight for the money nothing uh, price-wise that's that's fantastic but when you look at the six double a that's where you get a surprise here I haven't looked at other retailers but everybody's got a Home Depot near them um, and you're looking at less money for this one uh, 1788 so for under 18 bucks you've got an excellent flashlight uh, for the money and it it uh, fulfills all the requirements that I like oh another thing that I didn't mention that's quite important another great reason on these is the color temperature of the light they don't list it but to me if I were to guess it's somewhere in the 4000 K range it's not not extremely blue at all it's it's more of a slightly warm uh, might even be 3500 to 4000 is my guess uh, so for me you got good color temperature good quality construction um, and good performance and the price it, it kind of meets everything that's required uh, so that's about it for today so this is the Energizer 6AA and 6AA flashlight good bang for the buck I think you'd be pleased if you bought them I don't get paid or compensated in any way by any of these videos uh, they're just straight uh, straight my opinion of what I think some things that I found I think the pooch would agree too we uh, don't want to be biased right say hi to the camera okay thanks for watching do appreciate it